Thanks for joining us. This is Lucas with N2V Solutions. Today we're going to go over how to set up and program a DP750 from Grandstream. It's a the base station for the cordless handsets and the DP720 which is the cordless handset. They pair very easily and, and quickly and uh, the setup is a, is a snap. So first of all you get a book that looks like this. It, the first there's only about eight pages of information. It's a very thick book, but it's a lot of different languages. Um, it just takes a couple pages that go through how to turn on and set up the 750 and get the IP address off it. It explains it all um, very, very quickly and simply. Uh, the Grandstream DP750 looks like this. It has an Ethernet port that is PoE capable, so you can use the Ethernet port or the micro USB power port for power. It comes with a power port. On the other end is a uh, wireless button. It has little wireless signals by it. If you are first setting up your DP750, the wireless icons will blink the, and let you know that you can pair right off the bat. If that wireless light stops blinking, you press and hold this button for seven seconds and it'll start blinking again and you can pair any handset with it. So without the blinking wireless, uh, handsets will not pair. So keep that in mind. I've already got one of these set up and turned on, so we're not going to go over that. Um, it's very lightweight, uh, comes with mounting brackets on the back if you want to screw it to the wall or anything like that. Um, setting that out of the way, we have the DP720 on its charging station, also micro USB charger, um, interchangeable. So, oh, move my screen over. And uh, very easy to plug in and set up. On the phone itself, uh, boots up very quickly. You can press the circle key as your, uh, kind of like your enter key for everything. So you can press the soft key buttons to select things or you can just press the circle key. So I press the circle key and go to the settings and uh, the very top option says registration right at the top. You click on that and you select uh, register, deregister, or select base. We're going to choose register, which is the top option again. So we're just clicking through the very top option for everything. Um, you choose base one, it finds the base right next to you. You click subscribe or the circle key again, and it says easy pairing. It goes through the whole process of connecting to that base station. Um, I've already paired two handsets to our base station, and uh, we are ready to, to take a look at what that looks like. So I'm going to zoom out here and you should see the full screen. We'll get rid of me so that we can go right into programming. So here is the, uh, the base station DP750. I'm already logged into it. Uh, the first thing we're going to look at is the status and you can see this one just turned from green to red. The reason for that is I did a firmware update on the on one of the phones. I'm going to show you what that looks like. Right now we're on version 10120, which is the latest firmware at this time. So if we go to deck status here, we can see the different handsets that are connected with their MAC addresses and what firmware version they are on. Now I should be able to click upgrade right here and it will push the upgrade of 101.20 to that handset. I'm going to go ahead and uh, show me again here if you can see that. On the handset you can also press the circle key and go to settings and press up arrow. It will take you to the, the very bottom options. One of them says firmware upgrade. I select that and it immediately checks for a firmware upgrade and starts downloading it right on the screen. I put it back on the charger so it doesn't lose its charge while we're doing this. On here, if we refresh the screen, it will show that that phone is now upgraded and we can monitor monitor that from here as well. If we go back to the regular status we will see that one phone handset is available while the other is not. So while that's going on 
you'll see these go red or green and that's okay because that handset is upgrading its firmware. We can do other things in the uh, DP750 while that's happening. Um, under profiles, this is where you create your, your first profile. Um, it determines which SIP server you're going to connect to. Um, in this case, I'm going to program this SIP server and you don't need to fill out anything else on here um, except for the voicemail access. So on our system that's star 98 so we're going to put that in there. I'm going to fill in this SIP server and uh, and save it and I'll be right back. All right I entered in my SIP server, saved it. You guys don't even know that information so that is all filled out, just those two things. Then we go over to Decked and we can see we can name each handset. So like this one's HS1 by default. We're going to call it Cordless 1. That's what we want to see. And we're going to call this one Cordless 2. So whatever you want to call it, you can call it whatever you want. Um, we're going to save and apply that. You can also create phone books for each one and assign those phone books to different phones. Um, we're not going to dive into that today, but that feature is here as well. All right, that's saved. So we got our profile made for which SIP server to use. We've uh, named our handsets. And then we're going to go down to this, the next section, which is SIP account settings. We can also click it over here and get to the same place. The uh, SIP user IDs we're going to be using is 3000 and 3001, just regular extensions we've created. So the authenticate IDs, like I said, are the same as the SIP user IDs. Um, and then the name, you can uh, name the phone here as well. And we're just going to do cordless one and two. Now, here is where you choose that profile you created. This is the SIP server that this extension is going to connect to. And then the handset mode is which handset you want it to go to. And those profiles are active. So I'm going to go grab the, uh, the SIP passwords for these and put them in place and save it and apply. And then I'll be right back. You guys shouldn't notice a thing. All right, passwords are in, but I chose the wrong extensions. We're actually doing uh, 1000 and 1001. Correct that here. All right, we're going to scroll down and save that. Now, once that's saved, um, this is the part that some people will forget, the handset line settings. It's the next section down. You have to assign the uh, which phone is going to use which account as its primary extension. It's possible to assign them both the same, so when they call out, they both see the same thing. But uh, this has to be assigned. I think I have to do that a little bit later yet. So, all the network settings can be programmed on these things. Under maintenance, you can uh, type in where you want your uh, phone to grab its firmware updates. That's all in there as well. But that's about as, as hard as it gets. That's it. Let's see what our, our phones look like here under status. They are connected. They are registered. And you can see one's still showing up as red. Let's look why. We're going to look at deck status here. It is still upgrading. So it's at 99%. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video again. And we're going to wait for this to finish up. And then we're going to do a couple test calls just to make sure it's working. And we're back, and I brought up the uh, camera again so that you could see the two phones we have here. You can see here now they're both green. They both show us they're up to date on the firmware. If we look at the uh, account status, they both went green here. It shows account one is assigned to handset one, account two is assigned to handset two. And if we go back now to that handset line settings, we can tell handset one to use account 1000 as its default line and account handset 2 
Let's use 1001 as its default line. We're going to save and apply that. And this will allow the, uh, the phones to be able to make a call up. So we're going to grab this one here. This says that right on the top of it, it took the name Cordless 2. And we're going to dial extension 1000, which is Cordless 1. And there it goes. Test. And test. I can hear two-way audio. We are good to go. So in the same way, I could do the same with the other one, 1001. Call over to 1002. Oh, yep. Sorry, I meant 1001 calling 1000. You know what I mean. Test. Test. And two-way audio. So we had this one dial 1001 and this one dial 1000. They were able to talk back and forth. I can even uh, put it on speaker. There's a speaker button in the bottom left corner. I can call our local time and temp. Make sure we can get out. Now this assumes that you've already... There we go. This assumes you've already done your inbound, your outbound routes on your, uh, on your PBX and that it can follow the rules that are already put in place for it. So this shows you how to set it up. It was that simple. If you have uh, questions or need support, feel free to give us a call, 507-205-4025. That information will be below in our uh, information section. Um, you can call us. You can email us. You can check us out on the web and talk to us there any way you want. Feel free to subscribe if you like what you saw. We're going to start doing videos like this on a regular basis. So if you uh, have any requests of a video you'd like to see, how do I do this? Um, let us know. We're, we're happy to, uh, to create some of those and get them out so the, the world can use them. So thanks for joining us, and uh, we'll see you next time.